Yo, what's going on, folks? This is Antoine with Core Cutter Tech, and today we're going to do an unbox and a comparison video of the Clear TV um, HD antenna. I know you guys might be familiar with the Clear TV key. I don't know if it's this the uh, is it free TV key or Clear TV key. I'm not sure, but um, we're gonna check this out and see why they got that label right there. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the contents. So here's the antenna. As you can see, it's a small size antenna. And you see you got the, um, I guess these are nail holes. But let's go ahead and see what else we got in the box right here. Let's go ahead and check it out. So you have the mount, the option. Yeah, it looks looks like you have the option to um, nail it, screw it onto the wall, or you got these suction cups right here. You can, I guess, mount it to a window. Let's see how those come on. So they just slide in there, go up. Okay, simple enough. Smaller size. See what the package is said. Okay, so you got some some pretty simple directions. Um, this one doesn't come with an amplifier. The one we're going to be comparing it to does have an amplifier. Um, and right here, it just answers some questions. What's going on folks, this is Antoine with Core Cutter Tech and in today's video I'm going to um, be comparing two different antennas. One antenna is the Clear TV antenna. Get it from Walmart for uh, around 15 bucks and we're going to compare that against a more expensive antenna. We got the You Must Have um, amplified antenna and that one I believe I paid around 45 at the time, I believe it was like 54 bucks, but I think the price then went down by now. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and compare them. I got, I'm going to set them up in my living room since this is where I get the worst reception. All right, so we got the clear TV antenna connected. And uh, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, um, I'm seeing uh, good results from the, um, the clear TV antenna. The... Uh, Normally in my living room, I don't get channel 10 and channel 10 has well, that's PBS and you have four other channels along with PBS you got create world and uh, PBS PBS kids So right off the bat uh, That's the I'm, I'm definitely getting the same As good as the same results as I would get with the um, more expensive t um, antenna and I don't have a uh, amplifier and it don't come with an amplifier. So as you can see, we're getting um, World TV, PBS. Let's look at the signal. This TV is an old TV. Uh, the picture ain't that bright. All right, so we, you, as you can see right there, we got like one bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to, first I'm gonna connect the um, the you must have amplifier entire first I'm gonna connect it without the amplifier, then I'm gonna connect it with the amplifier to see what kind of results we get from it. But so far the uh, fifteen dollar antenna is doing a great job. So like I said, I wouldn't get channel ten or PBS in the living room. All right, folks. So we got the you must have amplified antenna connected without the amplifier and as you can see PBS is not coming in so what does that mean for you that means that if you don't want any extra cords hanging around your TV or you know you with the cheaper antenna with the clear TV antenna you won't you won't need that you won't have those extra cords because you won't have to um, plug in uh, uh, amplifier so um, 
And also, the clear TV antenna is a lot smaller than the you must have antenna. But I'm just going through these channels and um, I didn't even bother to run another scan because for this particular area in my house, um, channel 10 was the only one that rarely showed up. So, as you can see, channel 10 isn't coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the amplifier and see what kind of results we get. All right, folks, so we got the amplifier connected and channel 10 still isn't coming in. Um, just for proof, let me show you. This is the, this is your amplifier right here. And this one I say about having extra wires. You got your, your amplifier, you got your um, the amplifier goes into the television. And then you have your antenna that goes into the amplifier, and then you have your power cord for the amplifier. So, folks, as you can see, we are not getting a signal from the you must have 60 mile range. Is it 60 or 80? I forget. I'll put it up on the screen. Well, I might not, but. We're getting our other channels. Let me see if I can move the antenna around a little bit. Like I said, I got it pretty much in the same spot. Let me just go ahead and see if I can wiggle it around and see if I can make it come. See if I can wiggle it around and make it come in. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and move it around. luck folks no luck with channel 10 or PBS um, so if you was to ask me what antenna would I recommend I would say the clear TV you know um, it's one-third of the price of the you must have um, less wires it's more compact you know and um, that's it uh, if you have any questions uh, hit me up in the comment section below remember to like and subscribe for more core cutter tech